I said no. I said no. I said no. No. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it has been quite some time, so um, yeah, we're back. We're going to finish up this Juvia's Place palette series. I think I have three more palettes. Yeah, I have three more palettes. And the palette that I'm going to be using in today's video is the Nubian 2 palette. Um, it's the one that looks like this. And the color that initially draws my eye is this green color. And then I was like, no, you don't need to do another green look. You just did a green look, but I can't help myself. So for this look, I'm going to do another green look. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. I really want to use this green because it's just like calling me. And it's just so gorgeous. But it's like I did a look with green and champagne and... I don't know what to do like I really don't know what to do so I had this look in mind so I was gonna do like a half cut crease and I was gonna do Zuri in the inner corner I was gonna do ya yeah in the middle and then I was gonna use Egypt in the outer corner so kind of be like an ombre effect and then I saw this look where it's like kind of like a half cut crease that fades out and it's like champagne on the lid and then you can like smoke another color on the lash line and I was gonna put Egypt on the lash line so I'm kind of like torn I don't know what I want to do because I don't know I just don't know you know like I don't know I guess I just need to like just do it <laughs> and figure it out um so yeah I think I'm just gonna end up doing a green look because I kind of have that that yellowy or that like coral color in between on my Instagram feed so it kind of won't be the same thing so I think I'm just gonna do that so yeah if that's something that you're interested in please keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is prime my lid, and I'm going to use this ColourPop concealer. This is in Dark 40. I've been using this concealer a lot lately. I love the way it looks on underneath my brow. It just gives, like, the perfect amount of, um, the perfect amount of, like, a brow bone highlight. Because when I use MAC NC45, I feel like it's just a little bit too, um, skin tone-ish and it doesn't give that separation from my crease shades underneath my brow that I like so I figure if I go in with this shade it'll give that nice highlighted brow bone effect and it does and I really like it so that is what I'm going to use and then I'm going to set this down with a translucent setting powder which I don't have with me so I have to turn around and get that but that's what I'm going to do Okay, so the first shade I'm going to go in with is Morocco. Um, there is Madagascar in this palette as well, which is a little bit more... It looks mustard on the camera, but it's not mustard at all. It's more of like a... Ooh, like a, like a gravy color. Like, well, it's a little lighter than a gravy. It's like a brownish... It's very cool tone. It's not very appeasing for crease shades, so that's why I'm going to go in with Morocco. I'm going to take this Morphe brush. This is out of their holiday bling collection love these brushes they're so pretty but they don't have names on them or numbers so i'm gonna use this as my transition shade i'm just gonna really pile that up look at that that is pigmented um and just work this into the crease if you didn't want to set down this this um this concealer you don't have to because it kind of dries down to a nice matte finish I haven't done my makeup or makeup in like a week you guys more than a week so when you guys saw that video go up on Friday or on Monday last Monday I actually filmed that video that Friday before so it's been like over a week since I've actually done makeup I haven't even had clients or anything like that so it's been quite some time so I'm kind of like Bambi like like a deer learning how to walk again like <laughs> It's like, I know what I'm doing, but I don't at the same time. I feel like that's why I'm kind of like, I don't know what, like, what look I want to do. Like, so confused as far as looks go. Because I don't know. I don't know. But, um, 
Yeah, so I had a lot of wedding stuff going on last weekend or last week. Um, two of the days specifically, I was like running around all day. And like that's my least favorite thing to do is run around like rampant and do stuff. Like I like to have like two things to do and then go home, read a book, you know, that type of stuff. But not what happened and I felt so bad because I'm like I need to finish the series like this series has taken so long and honestly series in general have taken so long so I was talking to my manager um, I'm gonna go on with Kenya it's like a dark 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 brown I'm using a um, Sigma E25 and I'm gonna put this into the crease but I was talking to my manager and we were talking about our palette series and how you know she enjoys them and how she thinks they're a good asset and a good thing to have for my channel as I agree I love doing palette series but it has become something that has kind of like taken over and that is not what we want this channel to specifically become so she was saying that I should just come up with a palette series idea like a couple of them and have you guys vote on them so every month at the beginning or the end I'm gonna come up with some type of series whether it's a throwback series or whether it's um, using some new palettes that I have whatever it may be and you guys are going to vote on what you guys want me to do and that's going to be the one and only palette series that I do that month so it's going to become a monthly basis as opposed to a weekly basis um, and we're going to go from there because I just feel like it's just taking over and it honestly when I when I when I say I'm going to do something I want to do it but at the same time <laughs> when I say I want to do something it's before I receive other product or whatever it may be so I feel like it just slows me down creatively and also um, uh, being able to put out other product if, if you know what I mean like it, it just kind of it makes me feel like how can I say this it makes me feel less creative when I'm when I'm I don't know how to put this this in words like it's in my brain but I don't know how to put it. it makes me feel like I'm like dedicating too much time it makes me less creative with other videos and things like that when I'm dedicating an entire week sometimes two weeks maybe three depending on the month whatever um, at doing one palette or multiple different palettes from one brand so um, it is something that I do want to continue because I feel like it's a very 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 good Thing to have I want people the consumers you guys to be able to um, know that you can get different looks out of a palette or um, you know a look that I might come up with isn't a look that you came up with or that you've seen another girl do so it gives you different options but at the same time I need to be able to get through my product you know what I mean because I receive PR on a weekly basis and I'm so thankful for that like it just it makes me happy when I jump out of bed at 12 o'clock and my doorbell is ringing like it makes me happy um, but at the same time I need to be able to get that product out because all of that got, went on last week with me and doing this palette series has pushed me back two weeks behind schedule I don't really have a schedule but you know schedule my brain course um but it's pushed me back behind schedule I still have like three BH cosmetics palettes that I still haven't gotten to use like I have um some boxy charm boxes I have some other brand stuff like I have a lot of stuff that I haven't gotten to use because I'm dedicating so much time and because I've been so behind with the wedding and everything so it's not just the palette series it's just life in general but I just wanted to let you guys know that that's where we're at right now um, we're going to be doing it on a monthly basis, one palette series on a monthly basis. Of course, unless another hot palette comes out and you guys want to see a look or something with that. But it's not a problem to do like one or two looks. And actually, I'll probably end up, like if I get a palette and you guys want to see like a palette series on, I'll probably end up doing like Instagram videos for that because I want to do more Instagram videos. It's like a goal of mine. So I want to... Um, if you guys want to see more looks out of a certain palette, you just have to let me know and I can film them separately for like an Instagram video. So, yeah. Yeah. 
So I just continued to build this color up while I've been talking to you guys. Um, it doesn't look as dark on the camera, but it actually is pretty dark in person. And this is going to be the only color in the crease, which is why I just continue to keep going over it. I should probably be done because, yeah, I probably should be, but just going to take a little bit more of Morocco on this previous brush and just work that into the crease. And now I'm going to take my Dose of Colors concealer brush and that concealer and I'm going to cut out the crease. Okay, so I'm going to take this shade right here called Ya. Yeah. I really like this shade. I can't really see it, but I really like this shade. And I'm going to put this all over my lid. I'm using a MAC 242 brush. You can use this shade wet or dry, but it's actually very, very, very pigmented dry. Like, extremely buttery. It's so good. And then using this flat synthetic, or actually this isn't a synthetic brush, but using this flat brush like this, oh, it's just, it's going to make it look so wet and foiled. So good. I'm just going to spin that around and take a little bit of Zuri in the inner corner or inner portion and just pop that like right in here. It's going to just be a little inner corner highlight action. Just blend it into that, that Ya yeah color. And then I'm going to take some more of Kenya and... Just of course use that to just blend the outer edge. You just want to kind of shimmy it. Shimmy shimmy cocoa puff it. Okay, so I did decide I put them on the back of my hand and I was like the green is popping. I'm just gonna do it. Uh, I don't know because I feel like this look is gonna turn out like the other look like What do you do? What do you do? Just like leave it <laughs> See This is the look I'm talking about I'm Gonna pull it up because I feel like it's gonna look just like this look even though I'm not gonna do a wing But I'm sure y'all already know what I'm talking about it's this look right here And I don't want it to look like this look. I want it. Hmm. See how that has the green liner? And it has the warm crease. Like everything is pretty much identical. Hmm. I don't like this. I'm so indecisive. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna do it. I'm taking it on an e.l.f. brush. All right, so <laughs> did it. Don't know how I'm gonna feel about this because I didn't really know what I was doing. Like, I don't know, but we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. 
we're just gonna go with it okay so i have these new lashes from this new lash brand and it's called the liberty lash new york and it comes in this little baggie and it's so cute it's like a velvet like drawstring bag that you can travel with you know whatever it is and then it pumps out and it comes in like a little circular container and this is the moment lash and this is my favorite lash out of all the lashes that they sent over um this is a hand mink um handmade mink eyelash and it's just so fluffy and just so wispy i'm super excited to try these like they like fold up like really 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 curly i don't know if you guys could see like really pretty so i'm excited to try these so i'm gonna pop these on um and i'll have these linked down below but you can go to libertylashny.com just in case i forget but that's where you can find these i'm not sure 100 on the price um hopefully it's affordable because we like affordable things over here <laughs> but i'm gonna do my face and everything like that and i will be right back Okay, you guys, so Dose of Colors came out with new eyeliner and lip liners, and I just received them on Saturday, I believe. And this is one of the colors. This is called Maybe Baby Eyeliner, and it's in this green shade. So I'm going to try this and see how it is. I have never tried um, the eyeliners or anything. I'm hoping they're, like, really creamy, but they come in, like, this, like, really sleek, really lightweight as well. It's really lightweight. Um, retractable pencil so you don't have to worry about sharpening and things like that I think that's really smart that they did it like that because nobody wants to worry about bringing a lip liner and eyeliner pencil sharpener with them on a trip so I think that's really cool so I'm gonna place this oh it's a lot more creamy than I thought it would be I thought it was gonna be like because a lot of pencils are really like retractable pencils are really like stiff to me um but it's actually pretty nice it's going on really nice hmm. it's actually pretty good i'm, I'm actually shocked <laughs> quite shocked so actually i have oh my gosh my nose is dripping Ugh, i hate that i have an entire box right here um filled with them they came out with a ton of shades like a ton of shades so there are there's another green one which is a little brighter um there's a blue there's a, a coppery orange there's a couple reds there's some oranges there's some purples and some browns and some grays like there's a ton oh my gosh my nose will not stop dripping there's a ton of shades so really excited about these like really excited there's even a like a burgundy like awesome so i'm gonna throw a little bit of lucky into my waterline too lucky is like a few shades lighter kind of goes a little bit better with the upper lash line i'm just gonna put lucky like right over the top yeah just make it pop a little bit more Mm hmm and then I'm just going to do the same thing that I did on the top on the bottom for the lash line just kind of like smoke it out a little bit I'm gonna take some of Kenya on the E25 and just pop that on the lower lash line not gonna go all the way in with this then I'm just gonna take a little bit of Morocco uh, right underneath of that And like connect out here and then lower lash line mascara and that's it okay so for lips I am just gonna keep it pretty simple I'm gonna use this clean color lip liner and chestnut I went and bought a new one because my other one's getting pretty small so I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this one Okay, and now I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Ashton Liquid Lipstick. It's like a orangey, terracotta -y color. It's going to go with the lid color really well. Okay. 
All right, you guys, well, that completes this look. That completes this video. That is it for our third uh, Juvia's Place palette out of the series. And this one, it wasn't that hard, but I was kind of stumped with a color combo. Like, I feel like I, like, it's kind of similar to the last look that I did. Or not the last look, like the first look I did because of the green lash line, but I feel like it's different in, in, in its own way. So, I don't know. I'm happy. I'm, I'm glad it turned out the way it did. Um, yeah. So, tomorrow's video, I think we're going to do the Nubian palette, I think, which is like the first palette they came out with. I've had for a long time. So, I have no idea what look I'm going to do using that palette, but... Super excited, um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. If you haven't already gone ahead and subscribed, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And thank you guys for being so patient and so understanding about last week. It just was a trying week. I don't know if y'all ever had those, like mental breakdown weeks. Like that was me all last week. And I felt so bad because everything, I like went radio silent. So I knew I needed to post um, a, a comment or something on here so you guys knew what was going on and I didn't just drop off the face of the earth. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I'll see you guys very soon. Mwah. Bye.